Hi YouTube, thank you for joining me again. Um, I'm here today in some woodland in Dartmoor. It's a very dull overcast day so definitely a woodland photography day. Uh, fresh back from my photography week in Wales which was absolutely amazing. Anyway, today's video is going to be all about how many megapixels we actually need. Now don't get me wrong, high resolution cameras are fantastic. They give amazing image quality and all the rest of it. Judging by a lot of the online discussions that I see, and some of the comments that uh, people make on certain things, a lot of people seem to think that in order to be a professional photographer you need a very expensive high megapixel camera and anyway today uh, is all about testing that theory so I've bought with me just my 5D Mark 1 which is only 12 megapixels which by today's standards is very low most cameras these days are at least 20 um, and I'm going to try it with decent lenses Canon L lenses and we're going to see just how good the images are with a 12 megapixel camera as is usually the case with woodland photography it's usually quite tricky to start with to see compositions because you kind of can't see for looking and um, the whole scene, whilst it's beautiful to look at, photographically it looks kind of a bit messy and there's lots of distractions and lots of stuff everywhere. Although the whole of the woodland floor, as you can see, is carpeted now with beautifully sort of reddish brown, goldish leaves from the trees. So. We're definitely well into autumn. In fact, it could be over soon. A lot of these trees now don't have much left on them. Um, but there's still some colour around. So I'm hopeful that I'm going to get some good images today. Well, I couldn't really find much of anything up there to photograph. Um, so I've come down towards the lake. Hopefully we can get something down here, something with some nice reflections or something like that. Right, let me just run you through the composition I'm looking at here. So it's basically the path um, with the line of trees where they hang over the path. There's beautiful yellows and golds. There's still some green left. Um, and then 
the the floor or the path is carpeted in those beautiful reddish brown golden leaves so that's my first composition okay so a camera like the the 5d mark one uh, certainly has some limitations by today's standards and I'm just going to talk about those for a moment so first thing is there's no live view um, so therefore manually focusing is a bit tricky because you've only got the viewfinder to work with now what I always found with this camera is that the autofocus was always very good especially if you engage all nine focus points so that you get focus points across the frame um, and you can always do a test shot and then on the back of the screen you can you can zoom in and check your focus So yeah, there's going to be limitations that you're going to have to work around with using um, a much older camera like this. However, it's still doable. Now, I've seen these cameras on eBay for as little as £180. So that's a full frame pro level camera. And it was a pro level camera when it was introduced back in 2005, I think it was. Um, that's a pro level camera for uh, less than £200. If you couple it with um, a couple of decent lenses, then you're going to have a great system to get you started. composition here right by the shore of the lake so it's these group of trees these gnarly looking trees running along the, the shore of the literally growing out of the shore and then you've got the beautiful reflections and then if I just tip the camera up you can see I've got sheep's door towering above us in the background reflecting into the lake So I'm keeping, let me just 
just uh, tighten this up a little. That's more like it. So I'm starting with um, these roots in the bottom right of the frame. And the branches kind of stretch out across the frame and then we've got the reflections. And I'm shooting at F11, ISO 50 and uh, a quarter of a second. hope you found that quick video useful um, so if you are somebody that wants to get into um, full-frame digital photography and you're on a tight budget then certainly a camera to consider 5d mark 1 like I said it has some limitations but you can work around them and still get some cracking images or if you want to get into professional photography and you want to go full frame it's certainly an option certainly doable um, you don't have to be put off by the cost of expensive modern cameras anyway hope you like that it was just a quick one um, Thank you for watching me. If you like my content, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And um, definitely leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.